Hey guys, happy almost Thanksgiving. Instead of playing a random game that I would probably hate, I figured I'd do something a little bit different and just make a quick video talking about a game that I feel is a little underappreciated. It's generally liked, but I don't hear it getting the same amount of praise as other games that I feel like it deserves. The game I'm talking about today is Looney Tunes B-Ball for the SNES. As you can probably guess from the title, this is a basketball game featuring characters from Looney Tunes. But it's not a traditional basketball game like NBA Live. It's an arcade style basketball game similar to NBA Jam. There's not much of a plot in the game. Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck have just finished acting out an episode of Looney Tunes on a stage. Bugs challenges Daffy to a game of basketball to which Daffy replies, I've got more dunks than a donut shop. Yeah. All of a sudden, a basketball beside the stage turns into a dog and runs away with Bugs and Daffy chasing after it. Each game consists of four quarters like a regular basketball game and are set to two minutes long by default. You can change this if you want in the settings to make the games last longer. Speaking of characters, there are eight Looney Tunes characters to pick from. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Elmer Fudd, Wile E. Coyote, Taz, Yosemite Sam, Sylvester the Cat, and Marvin the Martian. Each character has different stats which you can see below their portrait. For example, Daffy is an excellent defender due to his high defense and stamina stats. Being that this is a Looney Tunes game, you can expect some shenanigans on the court. There are gems that spawn around the court which act as a currency. Building up this currency allows the players to use Acme abilities. These are abilities that can give you an edge by doing things like disabling the opponent or allowing you to move quicker around the court. There are a few generic abilities that every character can use, such as the ability to throw a pie at your defender, causing them to be stunned momentarily, or the ability to teleport. One of the abilities is the Long Range ability, which lets your character shoot a unique full court shot. Each character has a unique animation that plays out when they do the long range shot. For example, Elmer Fudd pulls out his gun and shoots the ball. Taz the Tasmanian Devil spits the ball out of his mouth at the goal. These long range shots don't always go in, so it's not a guaranteed score, but they are fun to watch. In addition to these long range animations, each character also has a unique defensive skill that they can use as well. Again, these animations are enjoyable and relate to the character very well. In this example, you can see Bugs pretend to be a woman, something he did in the cartoon several times, and makes everyone else on the court swoon over how goddamn sexy he is. You know you can't leave Elmer out there alone like that, he's gonna stroke that J! Occasionally the basketball will turn into a dog and run around and you have to catch it. I don't know what this is or what it means, it's just kind of random. Looney Tunes B-Ball doesn't have an announcer like NBA Jam to hype up the plays, but it does have character voiceovers and really solid music that plays throughout. I mean, just listen to this, it's great. One mild annoyance that I have is that the computer is kind of hard to beat. I'm someone who likes and appreciates a certain level of challenge, but even on the easiest difficulty setting, this computer is no joke. I could see this being a little disheartening for someone who is just wanting to play the game for the first time. To sum it up, I consider the pros simple, fluid controls, great animations, catchy music, and really just fun to play. 
As far as cons are concerned, there's not much variety in the gameplay, and it can be challenging to beat the computer. I think that like NBA Jam, Looney Tunes B-Ball is a game that is simple and fun enough that even non-basketball fans can still pick it up and have a good time. Maybe it's heresy to say this, but I actually prefer it over NBA Jam. NBA Jam is great, don't get me wrong, but there's a certain charm to this game. I've honestly loved it since I was a kid. The cartridge itself is getting up there in price. Online, you usually see it go for around $50. If you can afford it, I think it's worth it. If you haven't played Looney Tunes B-Ball for the SNES, I definitely recommend it. Check it out and let me know what you think about it. Oh no! Bang!